there are reports of downed power lines in different parts of our viewing area, Excel Energy is reporting that thousands are without power in La Crosse County. And down in Iowa, power has been restored to most customers. In New Albin, after over 700 are reported to still be without power. The estimated restoration is around 2.15 a.m. No cause was listed on Alliant Energy's website, but photos show wet, heavy snow causing power lines to hang low. Also, as temperatures continue to rise, be cautious of flooding. Check out our app or news8000.com for any updates on potential flooding in our area. The city of La Crosse has issued a snow emergency. That means alternative side parking already went into effect at 6 Sunday night. The snow emergency will last 48 hours, so it ends on it ends today at 6 p.m. For further guidelines on parking and information on what to do during the snow emergency, you can visit the City of La Crosse's website for more information. Democratic group Courage for America hosted a Back Off Our Benefits event in Red Cloud Park on Saturday. The conference called on Representative Derek Van Orden to not cut health care programs that include Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare and Bennett's for veterans. One leader says this is an issue that affects everyone. We've had different speakers come in from re, you know, the regions that we're visiting and come in and tell us their stories. These are real Americans uh, dealing with real issues and, and, and facing real consequences uh, if the default crisis happens. This was the tour's last district stop. Courage for America will hold a press conference in Washington, D.C. today. Lending a hand to the women of La Crosse, the Women's Fund of Greater La Crosse kicked off its 25th year with its annual Spring Fling. This event helps support female-owned businesses and local organizations to help out women and girls. Attendees were also encouraged to bring feminine hygiene products to donate. The executive director says those donations help women everywhere. An organization like us, Women's Fund, ensures that dollars are going toward programs that are designed to help women build sustainability, self-sufficiency, and to build equality. If you miss the fundraiser, you can also donate online. The link to the Women's Fund is on our website, news8000.com. The new location of Five Guys Burgers and Fries is delaying its planned grand opening due to hiring issues. That's according to an update from business manager Alex Humphreys. On Alaska's location on Kinney Cooley Road was originally scheduled to open to tomorrow, April 18th. All right, here's a look at your first worn forecast for today. We'll see temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. That snow will taper off in the late morning, early afternoon hours. Winds will be out of the northwest at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Some places could see gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. So here's how we get there. We'll see temperatures in the mid 40s throughout the e early evening hours. We'll go to the upper 30s by 9 o'clock and then 37 degrees with mostly clear skies by the 11 o'clock hour. Abundant sunshine to start your Tuesday, but rain chances pick up Tuesday night. Thunderstorm chances pick up Wednesday and Thursday, then another chance of a wintry mix Friday going into Saturday. That's Friday night going into Saturday morning. One thing to note, Sophia, with all the flooding concerns going on right now, rain is the last thing that we need across this area and some places are still under a flood warning until further notice. Yeah, I had I was driving back from Door County. I went home this weekend mm -hmm. and a lot of the lakes were yeah. just slowly starting to flow into the into the roads. Right. And the Mississippi here in La Crosse is still rising. I know and now well. with all the snow. Yeah, not good. Not good. No. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. You bet. And thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We will have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you for watching News 8.